You know, I read that story for years and heard it preached on before ever I realized she came for one reason only. She came to worship Jesus. How do you know? Because she brought the most sacrificial gift that she had. How do you know? Because she never said a word while she was there. How do you know? Because she said, I won't wash his feet with water, I'll wash them with tears. I won't dry his head, uh, his feet with, with a gorgeous towel, I'll wipe his feet with the hair of my head. And she poured out that costly fragrance. And then she wiped his feet again, so what happened? The fragrance she poured out on him came back on her. Why isn't my life more fragrant? Because you don't take time to be holy. Because you think if you stuff all the stuff you get at Agape, which I'm sure is good, or some other Bible school, that this isn't... No, 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 no. God isn't going to measure your intellect the size of your hat. I think again of a statement Dr. Tozer made to me once. He said, Len, you know what? He said, we'll hardly get our feet out of time into eternity and gaze on eternity in what we bow our heads in shame and humiliation and say, my God, look at all the riches there were in Jesus Christ. And I've come to the judgment seat almost a pulpit. <laughs> 